I just want to play music, you know. <laughs> Kahit na if they give me a a, a drum drumstick, I probably play drums. Cause I okay. want to be inspired. Some I had a mentor. Somebody taught me how to do this. And then you know, out of my out of all my research or most of my research, I I always stumble upon real estate. You know, so real estate is always. And if you if you if you search it up, ninety percent of millionaires became a millionaire because they of invested real in real estate. If I'm slacking around, who's gonna pick up who's gonna pick up my slack? Nobody's gonna help me but myself. Welcome to the Paco's Place Podcast. And the podcast will begin in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, live at Paco's Place. Thank you for your service, sir. Mr. Thank Tristan Bailon. Ted for sure. No, thank you, Kuya. Thank you for having me here. It's uh, very inspiring. Ang tanong ko rito, bakit ka sa military? Um, one of the main reasons why I joined is um, para yung, so I can sponsor for my my then girlfriend, which is my wife now, Ellen. And how how, how is that going? Um, <laughs> we've been married for, <laughs> we've been together since we were 18. So, we, we, you know, we've been seeing each other for more than 20 years and now we have two kids. So ito nga no, when when you started life, di ba, sa mga girlfriend, ang military, sa mga, you you had to do it to sponsor your your then girlfriend, na wife yes. mo na ngayon, di ba? Yes. So in other words, gumawa ka ng paraan. Yes. Was being part of the military in your headspace, was it part of the plan? Or it was never part of the plan? It's, I mean, because my brother, uh, my brother who brought us here, he was, he was in the military. So I, I saw, you know, I, I've been around with him a lot. When I when I came and then I saw the I saw the goods the goods and the bads of it and then I kind of decided you know what if if this is what I need to do then you know let let it be let's let's do if it this is what I need to do kumbaga out of necessity eh, no yes yes itong itong mental attitude na to yung 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 sinasabi, if this is what I need to do then then let's do it so be it yes how did this come about how how were you like growing up you said you have your you have your brother dalawa lang ba kayo? how many um so there's nine of us total nine yeah <laughs> pang ilang ka number nine what the heck yeah <laughs> everyone's still around yes all nine of you yes including mom and dad uh our our mom mom passed away I'm sorry my my it. dad is in in the Philippines how still. how is it like growing up as number nine. I have nine puppies, by the way. Huh? <laughs> I know, nine, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> but how was it like growing up? It's it's fun, you know. Um, a lot of my uh, my nephews and my nieces they're almost you know my age. Okay. And um, the thing that I lo- I like about being number nine is I see I've I've seen how my my older siblings, you know, what they did in their lives, and I've learned a lot through their experiences in life. So which is you know. There's always a good thing and there's always a bad thing. Na intriga ako Ted. Mom and dad, sure excited sila sa k- k- number one. Yes. Naramdaman mo rin ba yung same affection as number nine k mom and dad? Um, uh, honest answer. Ha? You gusto yeah, malaman yeah. talaga. For me, it wasn't. You know, I didn't really care because not only for my mom and dad, I always had my brothers and sisters who would sometimes I would think they loved me more than. My mom would love, or my mom, my like, mom or dad. Might how love many me. kids do you have? Two. I have two kids. Ba? Yes. And you're very hands-on. So can you dalawa? Yes. Can you compare that? Sa, no, because we, we I grew up in the Philippines, so you know, meron, we, we have yeah. we have a nanay. We yeah, call we, it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so who's like more that? hands-on mm. than than my mom, especially my mom? Because my mom is also was she was also disabled, and she would always in she has a lot of uh, a lot of complications. She right. always gets sick. So but what know, was your relationship with your nana? With your mom? With your mom? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we have an I have an awesome relationship with my mom. And then how do you how do you communicate with your dad? Naman, paano kayo mag-usap like uh, hey pops? Ganon ganon then. Yeah, yeah. So casual lang. But right now my dad is uh, he's got dementia. No, then he doesn't even know me anymore. So <laughs> we don't communicate. At I only all. have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now 18, meron kang girlfriend. Bad America. Well, um, like I said, my brother was the one who first came here through uh, the Navy in Subic. So, how did you meet your girlfriend? Mo na, Oy, da, tayo America. Pa, paano? Well, we we dated before I came, and I already told her um, I have a pending um, petition petition from my, my mom 
to go to the states but you know that petition back then is like what took like 10 right. years or yeah. something so you know if it's there it's there if it's not then you know <laughs> we'll figure right. it out i guess right, right. <laughs> so you know finally ganyan na nagpakasal kayo sa pilipinas o dito ah uh, dito na okay yeah. so so okay so now ang kwento ng um ng missis mo sinabi mo na siya na mag-aral ng nursing yes yeah my well actually my brother did Because my brother's kayo. wife is also a nurse. Ang galing yun, no? kasi nung 18, nasasabihan ka niya, sorry, dito yung isis mo kaya. <laughs> nung 18, nasas, nautusan mo siya, nasa, napapagawa mo siya ng mga bagay-bagay. Bakit sa edad ngayon, hindi mo na nagagawa? Yeah, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Anyari. <laughs> Things change, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nirarap around ko yung sarili ko doon eh, na nung 18, nasabihan mo na alam mo mag-nursing ka, kasi kailangan natin mag-nursing ka. Pero nung kinausap ko yung yung missis mo dahil sabi ko, pwede mo mag- mag- mag-banda si, si, <laughs> si Ted? No. <laughs> okay, I can respect that. Now, let's talk about that. Musician ka rin eh. Yes. Doon yeah. tayo nakiklik dalawa eh, musician ka rin. You're one hell of a bass player. Kailan pumasok ang music sa buhay mo? Um, since I was young, uh, also my family is also a big, uh, a lot of my, my uh, older siblings are, they sing, play music, my cousins, my uncles, my titos, you know, we, we all grew up in church. So a lot of our family, you know, it's just automatic that, you know, we're, we're Filipinos, huh? you know, Pero every party but, you go, you're, there's karaoke. That's true. Pero but hindi mo kinarir? I don't know. Um... Was it a hobby or a passion? It's more of a. It's more of both. I mean, like, I. I can Choose say, your answer wisely, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can say music saved my life because growing Explain. up, yeah. you know, when I when I hold my guitar, it's like it gives me peace. Even you know, I tell I tell my wife that all the time. You know, it's just it gives me peace. Like if I, you know, it doesn't matter if I sing in front of people or if I sing by myself. It just gives me peace. I remember like when I was in high school, you know, high school is rough. Yeah. I would, you know, when I come home or something, I don't know, I, I can't even remember what, what the situations are, but sometimes I would pick up my guitar and go to our roof and play <laughs> and play by myself, you know. Anong, anong normally tinutugtug mo? Is, I there, used a, to, is there a specific... Um, yeah, I used to, uh, I used to, my favorite, my favorite um, music to play used to be, uh, I think, uh, like Firehouse, Love of a Lifetime. Yeah. yeah. So that's one of my favorite songs, my go-to songs when I was growing up. Para kanino mo kinakanta yung love? Wala lang, just for myself. Para may alam ka. I finally found the love of a lifetime. It's just, I, I just like that, no, yung, 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 ano, yung the, the, the plucking. Guitar, yeah, yeah, plucking yeah. and then, you know, the sound of the guitar. So So this was back in Iloilo? Yes. Yeah. So, the, who taught you how to play the guitar naman noong mga time na yun? Um, it's more of my, uh, one of my older brothers. Because uh, I think the first song that I, I, he taught me was uh, uh, With a Smile by Eraser Heads. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, ngayon, what made you move from guitars to bass? Because um, when we were in high school, there's like a few of us who knows how to play the guitar. So we, 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 we made a band, like uh, us with Denny, and you know, there's like, like two guitar players already. <laughs> Nobody wanted to do the bass. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll do the bass, just to well, be in the band. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll do the bass, just to be in the band. Does that mean na uh, feeling mo mas magagaling na guitarista tong ibang to, or dahil na una lang sila sayo in the band, kaya mo naisipan mag bass? Why didn't you stand your ground and just play guitars? Maybe it's because na sila yung nag-start ng band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so nauna sila. Yeah. Good choice ba when you when you when you um, at that time cuz at that time it doesn't really matter cuz yeah, I just want to I just want to play music, you know. Kahit <laughs> na if they give me a a a drum drumstick, I probably play drums, you know, just, just you know, just high school you just want to be, you know. One of your kids, one of your kids is into music. Yes. Anong influence mo doon? Um, well, you know, cuz ever since she was she was in my wife's uh, tummy, I would play And then ever since she was she was like a baby, she doesn't even <laughs> she doesn't even know how to talk, but she sings along when I sing. So and then we just I just kept going, you know. <laughs> Were you excited about this in Angayari? Oh okay. yes, yes, yeah. And you know, all thanks to you too, you know. 
you did the big part on her uh, career right now so we uh, we appreciate you appreciated also yeah. now ikaw naman ang sabi sa akin ni, ni Ellen when, I was, when she was on the podcast is you were into real estate Yes. Up to now, you're still into real estate. What got you hooked into real estate? Have you ever wanted to make a difference in people's lives as you make a difference in your life? Maybe a career in the healthcare industry is right for you. Well, think about this. A good work-life balance, competitive compensation, flexible schedule, fulfillment as you make a difference in other people's lives and your own life. In as little as six months, you can be a dialysis technician. And for over 10 years, Dialysis Education Services here in Southern California has been helping people fulfill their dreams in starting a career in the healthcare industry. So what are you waiting for? Enrollment is going on right now. Call the number on the screen or visit dialysiseducationservices.com. Now back to the program. What got you hooked into real estate? It's uh, I've always, you know, like growing up as well. Um, we are our family. We had a funeral business in the Philippines, so I'm always intrigued. Like, cause they they told me um, it was my grandfather who started it, so I'm always intrigued. Like, I always ask people, like su- successful successful people, how did they? What inspired them to go into business, or, you know. How did they go into it, or what? What made them do? Galing ang tanong na yon, yung rhetoric na yon. Because I want to be inspired, and then you know, out of my, out of all my research, or most of my research, I, I always stumble upon real estate. You know, so real estate is always, and if you, if you, if you search it up, ninety percent of millionaires became a millionaire because they of invested real in real estate. So you know, it's always you know, you know, I'm always intrigued with real estate. So right now it's like my passion is in real estate and music. Okay, let's talk about. <laughs> Babalik natin music, in real estate. Well, anong ginag- anong work mo yun? You're not you're not serving anymore, no? No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm do. Uh, I'm an MRI tech now, so, uh, Kaiser. Okay. Yeah. So MRI tech, you're doing you're doing real estate. Papano mo sinimulan yung panggigigil mo sa real estate? What steps did you take? I just remembered um, when I. Uh, when I was doing, when I was studying for my test for, uh, I believe it was a ca- uh, my CAT scan registry test. I went to a seminar, and uh, everybody there was like maybe 20, 20 people, twenty techs in the room, and uh, each of the the the, the, proc- the teacher or the the organizer was asking. So you know, you stand and then tell us about yourself. Where where do you work and stuff? So everybody told them, oh, I work at this hospital. I do this and that. And then this this one lady, she's a young lady, she stood up and then she said, you know, I don't work for anybody, I work for myself. And then she she sat down and she was like she was like, you know, she was she was like, Ang yabang nito, you know? Ganun but I got I got, I was so curious with her. <laughs> and then when when we went to lunch on our lunch break, and then we were like standing in front of the hotel because it was it was in a hotel, and then a a valet a, a valet came in with a I think it was like a, a Porsche. 911 something like that and then now i'm so intrigued and then so when when we came back i asked her so tell me what do you do <laughs> no i don't you know so what do you do so I, i'm very curious with you what do you do so she told me she she has her own business she has her own registry business and then she asked me why do you want to work for me so so i was like wow so same thing <laughs> out of my curiosity i asked her how did you become how did you get into that business and then she told me some I had a mentor, somebody taught me how to do this. And then why are you interested? I said, I- I'm just interested with business. What do I do? And she she told me read this book. Oh, what was the book? It's called The Rich Dad, Poor Dad by oh, yeah. Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah. And then Oh you know, my god, real estate you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I got into you know, it's they call it light bulb moment. That's yes. when I, I when I first read that book, it's like that's it. <laughs> so, you're Yeah. And then convincing your wife was another thing also. Oh, yeah. She got tired of listening to me talking about real estate. <laughs> what was the first uh, property that you bought? Uh, our first house we bought in 2012. Okay. Yes. But that was your personal house, right? Yes. Yes. You're still in it? No more? Uh, yes. We still own it. Okay. Yeah. But you don't live there anymore? You still live there? No, we don't live in it anymore. Yes. Okay. You still own it. So, now it's being rented out. Yes. And then yeah. the second property, yeah, how many property, how many properties do you have now? Um, not including the Philippines, we have uh, 
five. Okay. So the second property, so when you bought the first property, dwelling place, tapos, when did you say, you know what, time to upgrade? Yes. So we we uh, we bought our other house in after eight years with our first house. Okay. So and then the house that we bought, we they call this term a house hack, mm. which um, there's a there's a, another unit in the back mm-hmm. that we rent out to. Uh, it's called the uh, midterm rental. Okay. We rent it out to travel professionals. Yeah. So baga hindi siya talaga full time rental talaga seasonal yung dating niya. Yes. Yeah. And then after that. After and then that. after that, we bought a, um, uh, a Big Bear. We, we, we have a cabin up in Big Bear. Talk about the Big Bear cabin because, um, again, I'll put a link in the description below para makita nila yung, yung, ano, yung cabin na yun. But, um, ang kwento sa akin, di door to door mo yung property na yun. Yes, so this was during um, the pandemic. So there was the competition to buy a house back then it was it was ridiculous so every time we go uh, we would be interested in a cabin when they go to a open house we would go in and then you know the 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 seller's agent would say oh we have five offers on the table three of them cash and then you know like there was one that we that i really liked and and then it was the asking price was 500 and uh she told me oh we have a cash offer for 600 610 or something like that and then um, she told me, you know, if, if you're really interested, you have to, you know, come up with better been, than yeah. that. Yeah. And then every five minutes I would ask her, would ask her, how much, how much is it? Or how many offers do you have? She, she doesn't know that I'm using her to get me more motivated. So, you know, it's like, parang yeah, get me mad, you know? Yeah. So, so when we, so we, we rented a cabin when we were there, you know, just to see the houses, just to see cabins. So every time, every morning, I would get up like five o'clock, five thirty. I would drive around into in the snow, and then when I see people walking around or like drinking coffee in their in their in their cabins or houses, I would you know stop the car and then talk to people, and then you know even like the neighborhood. So do you know if there's an owner for that? And and then they, would, they say, oh nobody, nobody owns that, or or maybe they're there, but they're old they're old people. Maybe you know. So I would go in and knock on doors. I probably knock like. I would say 20, 25 doors. But but they gonna yeah. Because I wanted to have a cabin. I want to get a cabin. So no excuses yeah. dito, no? Like no, you. No. There's no time for excuses. No time for excuses. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want something, you know, you you know, like it's like if you're hungry, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? You're not gonna you're not gonna starve for to death. You're gonna find ways to find food to eat, right? Right. So it's the same same thing. How do you chan- how did you chance up upon this uh cabin? It's, it's crazy because I'm good then, yeah, by the way. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just crazy because one day somebody just called me and then, oh, hello, my name is this and that. I heard you're looking for a cabin. I said, oh, how did you get my name, my my number? Oh, my neighbor, my neighbor's neighbor gave it to me or something. <laughs> I don't even know who it was. So, you know, it's 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 cool. <laughs> it worked out, I guess, right. you know. So direct, so, so direct to the no, direct what, what to seller. Know. Yeah, because it, it was a it was during the pandemic, and the the owner didn't want, you know, agent and people coming in and out because that's because that's where he lived. But they they moved out to Idaho. It's actually there's two cabins actually, one for him and then one for uh, his girlfriend, but they're older. You know, they're they're uh, other significant other like passed away. Yeah, and then you know both of them are single. So. So each of them had cabins, but I, you know, at the time I, I liked that one because it's all log and all, yeah. you know, it's just perfect for what I'm looking for. So let's talk about what I'm looking for. Before you set out and do stuff, you have a visual of the thing that you want in your head. Tama? Yes. Yes. Ano preparation para dun? Um, from what I've learned to the from the books I read or the podcasts I listen to, you have to know what you want in order for you to have a goal to reach reach that so i have we have a i have a criteria okay it has to be you know because we're going to do a business out of it it has to be like airbnb quality that's what i call it you know something something unique are you is that is that set in stone is that flexible um because sometimes gumagamit ka ng emotion eh? or do yes. you not use emotion when you're making a purchase uh, it depends on what the purchase is, but uh, for specifically for that cabin in Big Bear, 
Well, you know, because there are some criteria that I had to bend because, you know, in that, there, there are specific areas that I really wanted to, um, to, uh, to invest in. But with that cabin that we closed in, it's not the ideal location that we wanted it to be. But it's just the opportunity that we have, you know. So we'll just take whatever we can at that time. And then it all worked out. Selling point on your faucet sa babae, yung sa banyo, pero hindi lang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pagbalik, wow, na palitan na. Yeah, okay. we, we switched it out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we took your advice, right? Kaya pa parang mungus na kamay dito, kailangan patagilin. Okay. Punta kayo, guys. Worth it. Okay, sa mga ibang property nyo, do you and your wife talk, ito kailangan natin, ito hahanapin natin, ito gagawin natin. Choose your answer wisely, huh? Yes, that's okay. that's what actually I appreciate with her because I'm, I'm more of a, okay, let's go, let's go, let's do this, let's, let's do this. And she's the one who calms me down. Because if eh, not no? for her, maybe I made so much mistakes already. So you know? talaga teamwork, no? It has to be teamwork. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I can't, I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. Right. So what, what she knows is something I might not know. And then, you know, two heads are better than one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, and I really believe like in order for you to be successful, you have to surround your peop- yourself with people who's more su- successful than you. Or who's who you can help to be successful, so I I, I believe in that. Five properties, sabi mo, and and say mo ang, ang ang passion mo is real estate and music. With regard to music, what are you doing naman for yourself, and not for your daughter, but for yourself? Oh, I'm happy just playing, you know, like like by myself in the house, just to just to release. <laughs> I'm happy with that for now, you know, because like right now I'm. My focus right now is is more into real estate, mm. you know, because there's so many people that depend on on the business and on on our investments. Because I have we have partners in one of the cabins in 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 Tennessee, so you know, I have to be there, because you know that's 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 where I'm committed now. So real estate is like like my I I. I Try to read a book every day, l- listen to podcasts, and get, you know, I, I all you know, I I always look for uh, for inspirations from yes, people. Yes, yes. So commitment, it's very important, right? Yes. Consistency. Yes. Being part, being trained in the military, how much of a role does consistency and commitment play in your everyday life? It's it's I think it's everything, you know, because if you're not committed to something, but it's it's not it's like not doing it if you're not committed. Yung mga days na hindi mo talaga gusto bumangan na parang ayaw ako na, tinatamad na ako. How do, you, how do you push yourself to get out of bed? Oh, there's a lot of people that I, I look back and think. For example, you know, like sports people, Kobe, Michael Jordan. You know, all those guys, they became, they became successful because, you know, they worked hard. So if I'm, if I'm slacking around, who's going to pick up my slack? Nobody's going to help me but myself. Right. So I always try to, you know, try to look for motivation as much as I can, you know. But there's always, there's a lot of, there's, there's also times that you just have to, you know, come down and relax for a little bit, you know. If you're committed, you got to really go at it, you know. <laughs> 100%, no? Yeah, you have to be 100%. One of my good friends, he's like in his 90s now. Uh, one of his, uh, he's one of the inventors for um, Apollo 13 or, Talaga. I can't, I, I, I'm not sure which one it was. So I told him, I asked him, what would you advise yourself like 20 years ago? You know, and he told me, you have to look for your passion and then you work on that passion to make it work. You know, that's why like I look up people, I, I look at, I look up at people like you because that's why when I, when I talk to you, I'm always inspired like talking to you because you know, you, you started where you started and now right. look at you, you know, it's not, it's not you're here because of luck. It's you're here because of your hard work, right? Yes, 100%. So, you know. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes, buti nga, buti binanggit mo yun. Because like ikaw, kasi ikaw sinayin mo music and real estate, right? While, while, while pinakikinggan kita, inisip ko, ako ba? Pag pinapili ako ng real estate at saka music, I think I would still, ang weird, no? I would still pick music over real estate. Yes. For some reason, doon ako mag-gravitate and, and to your point nga, tama, na doon ka kung saan ka passionate. Yeah. And then yun ang pala, palaguin mo eh. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, you're one of my inspirations. <laughs> Ngayon, ikaw, likewise. Pareho na tayo. <laughs> military. Nung, nung pumasok ka sa military, were you ready for it? Um, 
No. But I had to do it. Hindi ba nakakatakot? Yeah, it's it's scary. It's going into something that you don't know. Were you were you assigned um, overseas? No, I wasn't. No. Were you were you um, anxious na baka ma-assign ka overseas? There was a time that um, that our unit was uh, was getting was gonna get or they they got deployed. At that time, um, Shiloh, our, our our firstborn, she was gonna have her her first birthday, so I was gonna miss it. Mm. But luckily, um, one of my uh, my fellow um, soldier that's the same, um, they call it the military o- occupational skill, which is x-ray tech. So he wanted to take my spot because he wasn't working somewhere else. So I was working somewhere else. So I said, oh, it was an honor. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if, if, if I got sent, I, I, I would told my wife, you know, Ellen, that, you know, this is, you know, if, if I get sent, so be it, you know, let's. Let's make it. Let's let's right. just do it. This is what I signed up for. We so you took the minimum. Uh, well, I was in the reserves the whole time. Okay, Grabe. I did uh, eight years total in the reserves. Talaga <laughs> kailang weekends na dun ka. Uh, one weekend a month. One weekend yeah, a month. Yeah. So and that was uh, full time working as a. Expert. If your daughters decide to be to be in the military, would you agree to them being in the military? Um. Yeah. I mean, if that's what their decision is, but I want, uh, I'll probably show them all the YouTube videos I can, you know, <laughs> to to let them understand what they're going into. Magulo ba? I mean, my job was uh, was I'm in the medical unit. Kaya lang nakikita mo lahat eh, di ba? Kaya ako lang tinatanong si Heaven, my son, wanted to be in the military. So, siempre as a dad, right? Yeah. Parang oh shoot, here we go. Here's the. It's minute. not. It's not that bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> so unless, man, unless you you'll be like in the the front, you know, or mostly Marines. Marines. Are, yeah, or, they're, you know, they're they're battlefront, you know. So, <laughs> my job was, uh, I'm in the medical unit, so it's the same thing as uh, what I'm doing here. If I if, if I get deployed, you know, unless they really need somebody for, you know, we're all trained medic. Right. But you know, there's a slim chance. Growing up in Iloilo, what was the dream? Because you were born so nine nine kids. At this point, an layu mo na sa magulang mo. You had your siblings to care for you. You had your your ka, your your pamang kids as ka as brothers. Parang yeah. ganon yun dating right. And sila sa may mga rooftop moments ka. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love of a lifetime. <laughs> what was the dream? Actually, yung yung you know our family, they would always tell us, "Oh, you're going to the states, this and that." To tell the truth, I don't really know. I mean, I know it's cool. I know it's cold out there. You know, you wear a jacket. That's, but I don't really, I didn't really know because I was probably busy at home. You know, in the Philippines. You know, that's that's where my mind was. But you know, the, the, my parents would always tell us, "Oh." You have to prepare yourself because you're going to the states. I said, okay, you know, I don't. But ang galeng no, do pag tinig na mo yung manifestation nila, no? Kat kada sa you're going to the states, you're going to the states. Yeah. Kung bakit they're manifesting it into existence. Eh, exactly. Diba? Yeah. Uh, Sublimely hindi natin nakikita na ganon pero yun na nangyayari na nandun tayo pa punte. Yeah. Diba? Uh-huh. So finally, totoong pupunta ka na ng states at yun ay papel mo tapos na yung interview mo pupunta ka na ng embassy. Kayo na ba non o hindi pa kayo non? Yes, kami na. Now it got real. Yes. Diba? Yeah. What did it feel like when it became real? Na, oh, shoot. We're going to States. I was confused because, <laughs> you know, I'm going to miss her and then I'm going to a, basically a different world that I haven't been in, you know? So <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I was so confused, you know, but. How do you deal with the confusion? I, I don't even know. Because <laughs> eh, choice. Eh. we have to go, you know? So we just faced it basically. You know. So now, nag LDR kayo yung dalawa hindi. Yes, we did. Yeah. How long? Siguro in total mga two years. What was it yeah, like? Cause, cause we we went back and forth. Eh. Mm. Yeah. How hard was it? It's hard, you know. How do you stay committed in a in a long distance relationship? How do you make it work? Cause back then we don't we didn't have FaceTime. We didn't or have a phone card, right? Yeah, phone card. Yeah, I actually saved the phone cards and then I showed it to her. Okay, this is how much you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we counted. It was like six hundred dollars or something <laughs> worth of phone cards. Grabe yon, no? Lalo pag magaaway kayo, tapos you have oh, two man. minutes oh, remaining. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Magayus ba tayo? Oi, titutuli natin tong away na to. Tapos nine o'clock ng gabi, hindi ka na makabili. You're down to your last card. Yeah. <laughs> no, I usually wake up in the morning early. Kasi gabi doon sa Philippines. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, so. okay, okay. <laughs> Pero hassle, di ba? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, how, how how did you guys make it work? Para doon sa mga tao naka-LDR ngayon. 
ano mga ano mga rudiments of making a long distance relationship work i guess kasi uh, from my experience i guess it's more of our our foundation that we got you know very close to each other before we got separated how long were you together bago kayo nag ldr um i think two years tumatagal na rin yeah or a year and a half somewhere there pagdating mo ng states eto ha kwentuhan lalaki to ha <laughs> pagdating mo ng states may opportunity to ghost eh yes yeah yeah Diba ko baka parang teka muna. Dito na ako eh. <laughs> yeah. Okay na to eh. Yeah, exactly. How did you keep your head straight? Like I said, from the time that I knew her, she she's the one who calms me down. You know, like I don't know how to say it. it's like Sige, tuloy mo pa. Buo brownie points ka. Maganda <laughs> 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 kina ko. Wow. <laughs> it's like kasi kasi you know, I don't know what the energy is with with other guys, but you know, why have so much energy in in said in my nor- normal daily life? And then she's the one who calms me down, you know. So, so I don't know if that's the thing that I was I was thinking about, you know, because there's always opportunities to to meet somebody else and stuff. Right. But I don't know if anybody can replace that that calmness that she brings in my life. So <laughs> I know corny. Hindi corny. Mapupuntos ka, Brad. Tapos okay. So now, finally, two years came ng LDR. How did it change? So, um, kasi nagpunta siya dito as a tourist. Right. And uh, at that time, I was only green card. Mm. And then we tried, you know, we tried different ways for her to stay. And then, and then, like she mentioned on the on the podcast, on, on that podcast, we went yeah. to a we went to a lawyer. And then, you know, the the lawyer said, no, you have to go home. Unless you want, you're going to join the military, maybe you you she'll go home for six months, and then when you get your your uh, your citizenship, you can, you can bring her over. Because the military will hasten your citizenship. Yes, you know? yeah. Instead yeah. of five years, maybe in three. No, know. it's actually after boot camp. You no. Yeah. So after I came home from boot camp, I already I already got my uh, citizenship. So less than a year, yon. Yeah, it's like what uh, twelve. Boot camp is twelve, 12 weeks. weeks. Yeah. So after that, you're automatic. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> kaya pa, okay. Kaya yeah, pala. Yeah. Okay, so nung nagpata siya. So it's easy. Like, military is easy. Yun na, yeah. In that case, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yun na motivation na kagad yun eh. Ganun yeah. na kagad. So finally, nandito na si Helen. Yeah. Wala na phone card. $600. Ayan, bayaran mo. <laughs> so what was life like? Finally, dalawa na kayo. It's uh it's after the after being um LDR for so long it's it's like you know you're you're at peace wala adjustment um yeah syempre meron you know it's always it's always up, ups and downs and you know in in every relationship pero but like for me even now it's like the you know you parang you're at peace ang sarap eh no yeah kumbaga parang alam mo na na may masasandalan ka na nakakaintindi sa iyo exactly yeah yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boom. Puma points ka na kanine. <laughs> okay na kanine. Paano kayo mag-away? Um, Tama ba yung tanong ko? Paano kayo naaway? O paano ka nang-aaway? Ano ba, ano ba tamang tanong? Paano kayo nag-aaway? <laughs> you, you, can, you can ask her that. Pero Wala, every time. Wala, tapos na nahiya ako yun. <laughs> Feeling ko ang dami ko tinanong kay, kay Ellen. Ellen, shout out, ha? You know, normally siya yung, ano, siya yung, uh, ano, I, I don't know, I don't, it's, um, it's hard ka. for P- me. Pumoins ka na kanina. Yeah, kahit, kahit, <laughs> kahit tanong mo siya, it's, like, ako, ako kasi kuya pa ako, it's, it's, it's hard for me to get mad. I'm the okay. type of person na, chill ka lang. Yeah. Hmm. But I, I don't know, I maybe, I maybe get mad at her sometimes. But what gets you mad? I don't know. <laughs> Kung if if there's a point that I'm trying to to tell her that she doesn't listen, Yon. which is all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's I, I don't know. It's hard because sometimes you know, like people don't see it like how you see it. Yeah. You know, so sometimes you know, I just. Pero magkinting communication skills mo eh. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes oh man you know you can you can ask her about that <laughs> so what do you do pag mga ganon? you just let it go or okay 
Okay. <laughs> you just say okay, okay. <laughs> You're never gonna get in trouble if you say okay. Correct. Yeah, right. Agree, kana lang. Diba? Yeah, diba? <laughs> tapos, tapos kana. Tomorrow is another day. Yeah, there's it's it's more kung mag-argue ka pa kay kaysa mag-okay kana lang. Yeah. You have two do- you have two daughters, right? Yes. Are you are you gunning for no pun intended for for a son or tapos kana? No, we're done. <laughs> Who decided? Sorry, I had to ask. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it, oh, at, first, I, did? at first, <laughs> at first, I wanted to have a a, a, a son, but like at this, you know, we're not so forties na kami. We we just turned forty this year, and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be hard, like starting over again, you know. So we just, you know, we just we're. I'm grateful for what we have, and then we just be con- contented, contented with what we have. As a father to to his daughters, no. What are you anxious about, and what are you doing to prepare them for adulthood? Right now, it's 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 crazy because, you know, at at our 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 first um, daughter's age, she's you know, she's in that part that oh, dad, I like I you know. She doesn't say it, but sometimes I feel like <laughs> she likes this boy. And ah! stuff, so, <laughs> so we're in that stage now, and it's it's hard for for a parent. Okay, how do you how do you explain this, right? Agirap, <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> parang parang ano, I should share ko lang. So my my daughter at the, at the time of this taping is seven years old. So sabi ko, anak, you can tell me everything, yes. everything, daddy. Everything. You're not gonna get mad. I will never get mad at you if you tell me everything. Okay, there's this boy in school that I kind of like. Okay, 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 okay. Not, not everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already getting mad. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ang hirap eh, it's hard. Man? Yeah. Pero what do you do? Like sa mga sa mga tatay, lal lal ni mga mga busy na tatay who are who are doing the daily grind and they have daughters and your daughter is preteen and one's a, a toddler like how do you how do you stay present i think the most uh, important thing for me is is uh, support you uh-huh. know let them feel supported let them feel that you're there for them and then like you said you tell me you can tell me anything you want you know? up, no? That's it's a- hard yeah <laughs> Parang, parang yun ang pinakamaling sinabi ko yata sa anak kong babae. <laughs> sa mga lalaki, okay lang eh. But you can't get mad after saying hindi, that, right? Hindi. So, that's, that's, the, that's the hardest part, I guess, is uh, how can I explain it, right? <laughs> how do you prepare them naman for adulthood? Especially Shiloh. Especially she has a music career. How do you guide her? I think the, the, the best, um, from what I've seen or what I've experienced in my own life is I guess we just have to be, you know, good examples to them. Mm, you know, because they, they always look, look, you know, we're, we're as parents, you know, we have to be good examples to, w- with, what we, with what we do because like me growing up with my siblings, with my parents, I looked up to them and, and, and see what, okay, so this is the wrong path to take. And then, you know, you, I saw it. I saw it growing up. So that's how I kind of learned in my own life. I reflected on that. So I guess that's the best um, experience we can teach or, you know, just be a good example for them, you know, as much as we can. You know, it's never perfect, but... But at least you try, right? Yeah, exactly. Bunsu ka, now you're head of household. That's a big change of mindset, you know? Paradigm shift yun. Dati ikaw ang bunso sa family ng dad mo. Now, ikaw ang head because ikaw ang... Like in my case, panganay ako eh. So ever since going through life... Sanay ako na, oh, tara, dito tayo, ganyan, 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 ganyan. That yeah. was my role all the time. But uh-huh. ikaw, bunso, sunod-sunuran. And then ngayon, ikaw ngayon ang kailangan mag... Yeah. It's, I mean, like for me, it's, it's, I've, I remember like growing up, I'm I'm more of an independent. Okay. So, you know, like with with the family now, it's, it's, it's like an easy transition. Because right. growing up, you know, like I said, I always had like clothes hand me down from my older siblings and all that stuff. So you didn't mind that. Well, I didn't mind that. No, yeah, I was okay with it. Sa mga tao ano, sa mga and and la is stress ko ang pagiging bunso because pag bunso ka you're either spoiled or feeling mo victim ka dahil dahil ane dahil ikaw na lim ikaw na yung huli. Yeah, like that, yeah. Diba? What advice can you give people who feel that they're the victim of their own environment? 
Well, I, I think my best advice is, you know, you, it's your life. Nobody else will, will, nobody else will pick it up for you, but yourself. So it's either you, you, you're going to have to make it. It's your decision. So, you know, <laughs> that's, I guess, my best advice to other people, you know, pick up your own life. Advice for your two daughters. I guess my best advice for my daughters is, wow, <laughs> there's so many advices in my head. Let me see. You know, you, I, I always tell them, you know what's right and you know what's wrong. You're old enough to understand. So always pick the right, the right thing to do. You know, if, it's, if you know that it's not the right thing to do, don't do it. Message to your wife. I will always be here for you, babe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tristan by law. Ah, inspire the story, mo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kuya, for for our inspiration too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the link in the description para makita niyo lahat ng pinag-usapan namin. <laughs>